Hi friends! Welcome back to Nelly Nummies and today it's my birthday and we're gonna make a special treat that I love. We're making lemon meringue pie. Now before you back out on me, I know meringue seems intimidating, but I promise you this recipe is a tried and true one. It's my mom's recipe, so it should work out well. Should. I haven't made it myself yet before, but I trust my mom's recipe and I hope it's one that you guys can enjoy too. To start out with for a pie, we're gonna need pie dough. I did cheat last night and make this ahead of time and I've had it chilling overnight. If you need a refresh on how to make a pie dough, I'll link above on my cherry pie video where I show you how to make it. Otherwise, feel free to use a store-bought pie dough and use that. But also, you're gonna want a pie plate. This is about a nine to 10 inch pie plate. But I'm gonna do some magic and we're going to roll this out and put it in here, make it look pretty. And we're gonna do that in three, two, one. Pie crust. The power of editing. <laughs> anyway, so once you get your pie crust into your pie plate, we're gonna do something that's called a blind bake. So all that really is, is we're baking this pie shell without any filling in it. To do so, we are gonna preheat our oven to 425 degrees Fahrenheit. I'll do that now. Get that preheated. And then while that heats up, I'm going to chill mine in the freezer just so that it stays nice and firm. Because if you put this in the oven as is right now with nothing in it, your pie crust is gonna get wah wah, real saggy and sad. And you're not really gonna have any space to put your filling in. So to prevent it from getting wah wah, saggy, we are going to put this in the freezer, get it nice and firm while that preheats. And also before we put it in the oven, we're gonna line this with either tin foil or parchment paper on the inside and put pie weights in it, which I'll put a link in the description below what pie weights are. Uh, pie weights are just these kind of, almost kind of like a marble that you'll put in there. You want to weigh down the bottom of the crust because if we don't weigh down the bottom of the crust, it's going to rise and bubble up. Another thing we don't really want for our pie. If you don't have pie weights like me, I don't have those. Dry beans. We're going to use some dried beans. I recommend a bit bigger bag than a pound. I recommend two pounds, but I only have a pound. So we're going to make do with this. It should work out okay. All right, our oven is preheated now. I've had the pie dough chilling in the freezer while we wait, and now it is nice and firm. All right, now we got our pie ready to go. I'm gonna take some parchment paper. I find it works easier when you crumple it up. Gently press that in there. Gonna take our beans, unceremoniously dump them in there. Spread them out as evenly as you can. If you have two pounds of beans, this will be a little bit nicer, but one pound will work just fine, I think. But now we got this ready to go. We're gonna bake this at 425 degrees Fahrenheit for 12 to 15 minutes or until this starts turning lightly golden brown. See you guys in about 12, 15 minutes. Bye. Okay, we got our pie crust all baked now. Now we're gonna take this out. Now, the bottom might not be fully baked through, but we are gonna bake this again in a 400 degree oven later once we get the filling in there. So should finish up baking then. Unfortunately, my crust did sag a little bit. It would have been fine, most likely, if I had had two pounds of beans instead of one pound. So in other words, the more you fill up that the pie weights so that it goes up higher against the walls of the pie here, the less likely it's going to sag down like mine's done. But the good news is there's still enough height around all of this where we can fit a decent amount of lemon filling. So 
We're gonna keep going with this. But first, let's let this cool down. And while we let this crust cool, we're gonna make our lemon filling. Now I did forget a couple special tools to mention earlier. For the lemon filling, you're gonna want a zester. Kinda like this little thing. I'll try to remember to put a link in the description below so you kinda know what this is and where to get one. And also, you don't have to get it, but a juicer is kinda handy for when juicing the lemon. But you can also just slice it up in half and squeeze it with your hands. It's just, that can get tiring. I feel like I get more juice out of this thing using a juicer. But work with what you got. Don't have to get special tools if you don't want to. Let's work on our filling, eh? So for our filling, the lemon filling at least, grab my cheat sheet. We are going to need one and a half cups of sugar, one third cup of cornstarch, plus another two tablespoons of cornstarch. So odd measurement, but you need that much, I promise. We're also gonna need a cup and a half of water and then three eggs, we're gonna use just the yolk, so the yellow part of the egg for the lemon filling, we're gonna use that. Keep the egg whites for the meringue. So for this entire recipe, all you need are three whole eggs. And then three tablespoons of butter, the lemon peel, so the zest from this here, we're gonna need about two teaspoons or I have a honk and huge lemon here, so I'm gonna use this entire lemon probably, maybe more. More zest you use, the stronger the lemon flavor. That's my theory. And then half a cup of lemon juice. You might need one, two, maybe three lemons. It just depends on the size of your lemons. But half a cup of lemon juice, and then about two drops of yellow food coloring. You don't have to use food coloring, it's optional, but it gives that more striking yellow color that you expect with a lemon meringue pie. So do what you please. I like the yellow color. All right, we're gonna start out by zesting our lemons. We're gonna take this grater and just do this. See how it collects that nice? That's what we want. And then you're just gonna zest until you get to a lighter color of yellow here if not the white part, but you don't want to go past the white part. Otherwise that gets very bitter. So we're gonna zest this entire lemon or until you get to about two teaspoons worth, whatever comes first. This large lemon probably got me closer to like two and a half teaspoons, but that's okay. It just means I'm gonna have a strong lemon flavor, which will be great. And we're gonna slice our lemon. Ooh. I was worried this was all gonna be rind, but that looks good. All right, gonna get our juicer. Juice, 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 juice. All right, now I have half a cup of lemon juice. I'll save this rest for some tea later. We're gonna set these aside. We're gonna grab a small to medium sized saucepan. In the saucepan, we are going to combine our sugar and our cornstarch. So one and a half cups of granulated sugar. One and a half-ish. Then we're gonna add in our cornstarch. About a third cup. Plus another two tablespoons. cornstarch. Give that a whisk to combine. And then we're gonna gradually stir in one and a half cups water. Mix until everything seems to be combined. And we're gonna bring this over to the stove and cook it over medium heat, stirring constantly until it comes to a boil. And we're gonna try and thicken this. And we're gonna stir this constantly because as it gets warmer, the cornstarch is gonna thicken up the syrup. And you wanna keep stirring it so that it doesn't form any weird goopy lumps. Once this starts getting warm and bubbly and simmering, this will go pretty quick. 
Okay, that thickened up a little quicker than I was expecting. But this is kind of the texture you're going for. You want to just be nice, goopy goop, if that makes sense. It looks like this. We're gonna separate the egg yolk from the egg white. Be sure not to break the egg yolk. And I like to use my fingers and just jiggle the egg, egg yolk out of the egg white, but do whatever method works for you. And then we're going to mix in a little bit of the warm mixture that we just made into the egg yolks to warm them up and bring them up to temp. We do this so that we don't have scrambled eggs. Because if you add the egg yolks directly into the warm mixture, you'd have scrambled eggs. And we don't really want that texture today. Once you get your egg yolks warmed up a little bit, we will add it back into the mixture just like this, and then you're gonna mix it up until it's just combined and cook it over medium heat for one to two minutes just to help it cook a little. And then we're gonna add three tablespoons of butter, cold. And you're gonna wanna make sure your filling is off of the heat at this point because your filling is nice and warm enough, it's gonna melt this butter easily. So just mixing your cold butter until everything is dissolved. Then we're gonna add in half a cup of lemon juice, two teaspoons of lemon zest, more or less depending how strong of a lemon flavor you want, and then two drops of yellow food coloring. This part's totally optional, but I recommend make it pretty. Mix it all together until it's well combined. And then grab your pie shell and we're gonna add in the pie filling that we just made. Spread it out as evenly as you can. Now let's grab one tablespoon of cornstarch and add in one and a half tablespoons of cold water. Mix it together. We are making a cornstarch slurry that we're gonna add to half a cup of boiling water. What we're making right now is a stabilizer for our meringue that we're making next. Mix this, up, mix this up and boil it until it's a thick goop like before. Set it aside to cool. Now we're gonna take our three egg whites that are room temperature, put it into a bowl, and take an electric whisk or mixer and whisk on high for three to four minutes until it's starting to form kind of these soft peaks, kind of like this. It's hard to explain, but it's a nice foam that's holding together. Now let's add in a teaspoon of vanilla extract you can do lemon extract, but personally, I find vanilla adds a nice balance to all the flavors going on. Mix it up until it's just combined, and then we're gonna add in six tablespoons of white granulated sugar, adding a little bit at a time, mixing in between each addition. This helps the sugar dissolve, so you don't have any granules in there. You want stiff, glossy looking peaks, kind of like this. You wanna be pretty much be able to Tip the bowl upside down and it's gonna hold, not fall out. Now we're gonna add in our little cornstarch mixture that we made earlier. I broke mine up a little bit just so it's easier to mix in. I folded mine in by hand, but feel free to use your electric mixer so that it disperses it more evenly. And then we're gonna plop this meringue on top of our pie filling. And then we're gonna just carefully spread it, covering edge to edge, covering all of the lemon filling. You wanna kind of trap it in there so nothing leaks out. Be sure to be gentle so you don't knock out the air that you just made into this meringue. And you can make a pretty little pattern, like a swirl like this. Or I always saw my mom do this method, which is just plop a spoon around making little peaks like this. This adds a nice little texture and makes it pretty. Now let's bake it at 400 degrees for eight to 10 minutes or until golden brown. And we're done. Now for our first lemon meringue pie, or at least my first lemon meringue pie, this turned out not too shabby. Looks good at least, but Hopefully this isn't too intimidating for you guys. I mean, you made meringue. It's lightly golden brown, it's not burnt, it's still nice and fluffy and sticky. <laughs> Honestly, the meringue kind of makes me think of a marshmallow and that makes this even better. 
because marshmallows are great, in my opinion. But enough chitter chatter. Let's slice into this and see how it looks. Let's see if I can manage this. Ooh, that's nice. Oh, oh, oh. Heck yeah. Look at that. <gasps> Guys, we did it. We did the pie. Okay, it's a messy first piece, but the first piece is always a mess. For our first lemon meringue pie together, that's not too bad. Thank you guys for joining me on this little adventure. I hope you have fun. I hope this pie is a little less intimidating for you, but thanks again for joining me. And remember, please be good to yourselves, be good to each other, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.